Hey everyone and welcome to your carrier update presented by our friends at Power Fleet. So the market is in a holding pattern. I know that's not that exciting. 7.57% tender rejection rate right now in the United States. But if you look up here, I've pulled up some nice little gauges here. I don't use these that often, but I think that they're great to show point of reference if you're not familiar necessarily with what a 16.87 tender rejection rate is, for instance, for the reefer outbound tender rejection index. So it's slightly above where we say the midpoint is for the rejection rates for the last 52 weeks. That means that reefer rates should be a little bit higher than average for the year. Uh, 16.87 as compared to 24.38 at their peak uh, at some point during the year. Uh, the rest of the country still right on par with where we'd expect it to be in terms of, you know, not necessarily at the midpoint, but a little below that. Uh, January, we tend to see this declining activity, rejection rates coming down uh, throughout the month through February, for instance, but we are showing some signs of flatness. So what does that mean necessarily? Well, last year, we had a declining tender rejection rate coming out of the Martin Luther King holiday through the 23rd of January. So we do expect that here in the next few days that this rate will start to decline a little bit further entering the month, uh, ending the month, I should say, uh, coming through into February where it will flatten out again. So a flat tender rejection rate, not necessarily that unexpected during this time. So don't get too excited just yet in terms of, is this the great capacity rebound? Although we do think that there will be some of that this year, maybe not in the first quarter, however. So looking at the country itself, so Band tender rejection rates down around 6.97%. Reefer rejection rates starting to fall back uh, after having a nice little bump there here in the middle part of the month. Uh, as we talked about just a second ago, the reefer rejection rates are a little bit stronger uh, than the van rejection rates at this point in time. So capacity for uh, reefer carriers right now, a little bit tighter, should have a little bit more success. Mobile, Alabama leading the outbound reject volatility charge right now. So we talked about Mobile yesterday, still uh, showing a lot of tightness in the Mobile market across the Gulf Coast. So the southern states in general are showing some increasing tightness. Uh, and I'm going to dive into that here in just a second. But na nationwide, you're looking at tweeners being leading the charge in terms of the tightest areas, the tightest loads uh, that are going across the country right now. Mid haul coming in second, long haul in third in terms of the highest reefer or rejection rate, I should say. Looking at the weighted rejection index across the country, let's see where the most relevant markets versus this time last week are. So you can see this big dark glob here in the south. Uh, you've got Mobile down here, New Orleans, Birmingham, Montgomery, all this Nashville, all the way south to the Gulf Coast showing dark blue right there in the middle part of the south. So. What does that mean? Carriers should have an increasing opportunity here, uh, a lot more than normal. Let's dive into where, where we're seeing on this list here. So New Orleans, Louisiana leads the charge, 7.38 weighted rejection index. Anything over a five typically means there's, that's a significant opportunity. Anything from five to, you know, and higher or negative five and lower means that things are moving pretty significantly. Definitely pay attention to those. Mobile, Alabama, as we talked about, Rock Island, Illinois, if you're looking into the Midwest there, down around that military base and whatever. Nashville, Tennessee, also on the list. So let's pull up the uh, Nashville, Tennessee market here. So we're seeing a pretty strong increase in tender rejection rates, and it is not reefer. It is van, 8.37% uh, in terms of uh, rejection rates. A big, strong upward push here uh, to start to close out the month. Um, you know, we haven't seen this rate since we were falling out of that Christmas, uh, New Year's type of tightness. So anybody that's operating around, in and around Nashville over the next few days should look at the spot market and see if there's any increasing opportunities, especially if you've got a load finaling there over the next few days. Um, and that'll do it for today's carrier update. The comprehensive logistics offerings from PowerFleet cover in-cab ELD, fleet management, trailer tracking, cargo monitoring, and tracking other assets such as chassis and intermodal containers. Power up your operations with PowerFleet.